Full disclosure, just the other night, I spent the night at a high school meeting about college admissions. Mm -hmm. You can ask any parent like me of a high school student, this process is so daunting. And for so many families, it's very stressful. Who gets in, who doesn't, can feel really arbitrary. One college admissions officer says it's not a process where if you do the right thing, you get in. It's a game. This morning, college students who didn't cheat speaking out about injustice. It's just kind of like a slap in the face. The first lawsuits filed say the system is rigged after a week filled with allegations of the unbelievable things parents did to try and get their kids into elite schools. One father micromanaging an image of his son pretending to play water polo to get him recruited as an athlete, allegedly asking a graphic designer any chance to put him in a setting that looks like an outdoor polo pool. One mother submitting a photo of her son's handwriting so that someone taking the ACT exam for him could match his writing style. Her message, good luck with this. Their alleged criminal acts pulling back the curtain on what a former education secretary calls a larger systemic problem. There are significant advantages for wealthy students and well-connected students in the college admissions process. There are plenty of legal ways for well-off families to stack the deck. 25% of families are hiring private college consultants. Nat Smittable is one of them. He used to be an admissions officer at New York University. He says consultants are just the beginning. Access to tutoring, access to mentoring, access to internships, access to um, decision-making and, and guidance that, that students without wealth wouldn't have access to. Consultant Sarah Harberson used to be associate dean of admissions at the University of Pennsylvania. This is not a fair process. It's only fair sometimes for the kids who play unfair or the families who play unfair. The average college acceptance rate in the U.S. is 65 percent. Harvard, the most competitive, had a 4.6 percent acceptance rate for the class of 2022. We have multiple schools that are getting over 50,000 applications per year. They have the same number of spots as they did even five, ten years ago, but they're getting more applications. And families who can afford to make a huge donation get a leg up. Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law and senior advisor, was reportedly accepted to Harvard not long after his father pledged $2.5 million to the school. If a building is donated, that's a pretty sure bet that the child is probably going to be admitted. No secret, the system also favors athletes. They want winning teams because it builds great school spirit on campus. It, um, it helps alumni feel more engaged and sometimes alumni are more willing to give a bigger donation. So Harberson and others recommend students find a hook, something they're uniquely good at. But it's getting crazy. One former admissions officer told us that he's heard of students sending baked goods, singing oh, telegrams wow. with their applications. Oh, come on. All that said, guys, the experts we spoke with, and we were sort of talking about this in the break, Savannah, they all say, don't just think about a limited number of schools. Don't just think Ivy League. There are hundreds and hundreds of schools out there right. that can serve your, your students I think that's well. a great point it seems yeah. to unfairly prop up these top 10, top 20 yeah. schools, Ivy League schools. I went to a junior college. Don't underestimate the respect yeah. you can have yeah. for a learning institute in your neighborhood, yep. in your right. hometown. You haven't done so badly. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think one of the things that a lot of folks have come to realize over the past week is that our, our admissions process... It's broken. It's flawed. It, it is. How do we fix it? it? Good question. I asked that of the experts, and there's kind of differing opinions. Some said transparency. We talked to the president of Hunter College on Friday mm -hmm. who said we're going to be more transparent about who we accept and why we accept them, and that will help parents navigate. But then it's also a business. The more mm -hmm. selective the college is, the more yeah. prestigious, the higher the tuition they can charge. And so unless our whole system were to change yeah. right. and become all public. Yeah. But you reported on this and you're in the middle of it because in real yeah, life you have, so I'm, what's your one takeaway yeah. for a parent watching with well, a junior the in high school? The thing that I just said is what I'm trying to tell my son, which is there are a lot of options yeah. out there. Yeah. Right. You know, That's you're not point. necessarily going to go to the yeah. top, right. top, top, top. Yeah. Um, hey, but by the way, you don't have, have to. to. Right. You don't exactly. have That's to. That's my point. Right. At all. And take but, pride in some of the lower ones if that's what you want to And in right. fact, you might. I mean, sometimes it's like being a big fish in a smaller Absolutely. pond yeah. is the better way to go. I mean, there's just a lot of ways yeah. to, to chase your dreams. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to, you know, just breathe and not yeah. put a ton yeah. of pressure on my kid. Right. I know it's easy to say. So you're not going to do the singing telegram? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Kate, Probably Kate. Not and, and good luck as well. Yeah, uh, thank good luck. you. Thanks, Kate.